Hi Capricorn, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before you begin with your love reading Capricorn, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Capricorn. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords in the reverse, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is someone who a decision has been made. Um, there's forward movements. Um, this person could have been unsure in the past. There could have been a lot of delay, stalling, fear as well. But there's just this energy now of a decision being made um, and forward movement happening. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. The Nine of Cups, Water Energy, and the Knight of Cups, Water Energy. Okay, so definitely there is a, a rebirth. You know, it's like this situation is transitioning, change is happening. Um, there is transform transformation energy with the Death card here. And I do see this person giving you what you want because we have the Nine of Cups here. And this is an energy of a wish fulfillment, something that you want coming true. And you feeling quite satisfied about the situation, feeling happy and hopeful about your love life. And with the Knight of Cups, this is someone who is emotionally available, wearing their heart on their sleeve and very giving. So they are giving something here to you. There is this romantic offer, gesture or proposal or confession. But there's definitely a flowing of emotions. There's this energy of delays and restrictions and stagnancy. That period has come to an end. This uh, connection is seeing major change, transformation for the better. So let's see what the rest of... Let's clarify these cards actually, um, Capricorn. So at the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So again, decisive energy. Someone here knows what they want, and they're communicating it. They're being very forward, very uh, upfront. There is this energy of, you know, opening up lines of communication, being clear and decisive, and putting up boundaries as well, making something official. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards say. Okay, we have the Three of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Hanged Man in the reverse, Pisces energy, and the Ten of Swords in the reverse, air energy. Okay, so definitely they're avoid they're, an ending is being avoided here. This is someone who's making up their mind before you know an ending happens. Um, instead, what we're having rather than a painful ending is a transition, transformation. Um, there is this energy of getting on the same page, working together. This person is on board with whatever you want. So there's this energy of both people wanting the same things and not delaying anymore. With the hanged man being in the reverse, it's also an action-oriented energy. This person is not going to waste time. They're not sleeping on this anymore. There's a decision has been made and you guys are moving forward. And this person has love for you. With the, with the Knight of Cups, this is definitely someone with serious intentions and they have followed through um, with what they're saying, what they mean. They're going to back it up with actions. This is someone who wants to build a strong foundation. They want something lasting. Um, this is someone who is aware that a partnership takes two and that they need to be present. They cannot be passive if they want this to work. So we're seeing effort being made here on their side as well. 
And with the Three of uh, Pentacles, this is showing you guys as being compatible and working to build a solid foundation together as a team. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an Oracle card for you, Capricorn. So the card says meditate and contemplate new moon in pisces okay so this person has thought this through they spent a lot of time waiting or delaying this person was very much it's like they even to the point that they may have overthought things and this could have caused the delays but it's like now they are ready and they feel like they have the information they've taken the time they need and you can trust that this person their decision is quite final because they took a lot of time to think it through okay so i'm going to put out another card for you Capricorn. Okay, so the card says let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Okay, so definitely things are starting to flow now. There's this energy of blockages being removed, you know, the, those things that were uh, um, preventing um, an, a fair flow have been taken away. The restrictions are gone. This person is surrendering to this connection. They're giving in to the connection. Okay, so I'm going to plot another card for you, Capricorn. So the card says destiny it is not in the stars to hold our destiny but in ourselves okay so the, this is again that energy of allowing the connection to go but at the same time not being passive so this person in the past they were resisting this connection in some way they were not taking action they were overthinking to the point where it caused a stalemate but this energy is now reversed this person is now allowing the situation to move forward um, they they are open to it you know this is this energy of not being passive and, and letting life pass you by but instead being an active participant in terms of making that decision to go for it okay so that's what i'm seeing for you uh capricorn i hope you have a really really good day capricorn bye capricorn